From Amateur Radio Newsline Report, number 2167. These are the Ham Nation headlines for Wednesday, May 15th, 2019. Our top story this week finds us in India, where hams showed their strengths amid a raging cyclone. Cyclone Fani, the deadly storm that swept into coastal India and Bangladesh on the 3rd of May, is history. Although at least 34 people in the Indian state of Odisha and 15 more in Bangladesh were reported to have been killed. Authorities say the high level of emergency preparedness in the region kept the death toll from going higher as winds reached up to 127 miles or more than 200 kilometres per hour. That preparedness included the amateur radio operators of Southeast Asia. One ham nil Kanta Chatterjee, VU3ZHA, was credited with crafting a website in cooperation with the Climate Resilient Observing Systems Promotion Council, enabling storm victims to help track persons who had gone missing during the cyclone. Meanwhile, Arunava Day, VU3XRY, Debdutta Mukherjee and Avarat Das, VU3YDA of the West Bengal Radio Club, travelled to help the Odisha State Disaster Management Authority establish communication links using VHF and HF radios. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Jason Daniels, VK2LAW. Arizona Hams and their Homeowners Association recently reached an important agreement. And to borrow a phrase from the Sooner State of Oklahoma, antennas are okay. Some 75 amateur radio operators living in Surprise, Arizona, outside Phoenix, are celebrating a big win last month when the board of directors of the Sun City Grand Community voted 6 to 1 to permit certain outdoor antennas for amateur shacks. These include flagpole antennas no taller than 16 feet. And unlike other antennas, these are permitted in the home's front yards. Vertical antennas are also allowed but must be in the backyard, reaching no more than 5 feet above the home's peak. This height restriction also applies to wire antennas such as G5RV, off-center fed, and standard dipoles, but wire antennas may not have traps. Towers are still forbidden. In announcing the Ham's victory following lengthy negotiations with the board, the May newsletter of the Sun City Grand Ham's stated, quote, We have achieved a great win for amateur radio, and now it will be time to give back to our community by being able to provide emergency communications in the time of need, end quote. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Skeeter Nash, N5ASH. Feeling a little rebellious? If so, you'll have plenty of company next month when one club in Maryland marks the 225th anniversary of a historic American rebellion by operating a special event station with lots of, uh, spirit. On June 8th, if you hear the call W3W or Whiskey 3 Whiskey, you may want to get into the spirit and key your mic. The relevant spirit here is good old American moonshine and whiskey. And the call sign you'll hear is from special event station of the Mountain Amateur Radio Club in Cumberland, Maryland. The club will be marking the 225th anniversary of the Whiskey Rebellion, the famous uprising by farmers in the Appalachian Mountain region who were pushing back against taxation of alcohol imposed by the then new American government. The club members will be calling QRZ during Cumberland's Heritage Days and Whiskey Rebellion festival and operators expect to be on 75 40 and 20 meters ssb as well as other bands depending upon conditions there will be a commemorative qsl card the station will also confirm contacts via logbook of the world for amateur radio newsline this is jim dameron n8 tmw saying 73 and cheers there are only a couple of weeks left in the nominating period for the Newsline WA6ITF Young Ham of the Year Award. Full details in the nominating form can be found on our website, arnewsline.org, under the YHOTY tab. Nominations close May 31st at midnight Eastern Time, and we'll present the award in August at the Huntsville Ham Fest in Alabama. And that's all from the Amateur Radio Newsline, your independent source for amateur radio news for four decades and counting at arnewsline.org. With Jason Daniels, VK2LAW, Skeeter Nash, N5ASH, Jim Dameron, N8TMW, Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the news desk in New York, and our news team across the globe. I'm Don Wilbanks, AE5DW. 73, we'll see you in Dayton, and we'll see you next time here on Ham Nation.